I'm Justin Hansen, AKA Xenogenic. And I'm John DeShazer, and we're both designers on the combat team for this milestone. Today we're gonna to talk about the Dreadnought Battleframe. So the theme of the Dreadnought Battleframe was, was sort of wishy-washy before. And so this milestone, we really wanted to hone in and make it about being a short range fighter that's very good at short range, but he wins fights more because of his durability and less so just because of his outright high damage. One of the first things we were looking to fix on the Dreadnought was his HMG. Its role was there, but it had a lot of muddiness to it. One of the things we did to clean it up was we added a lot of weapon degradation. So after 20 meters, the damage of the weapon would fall off drastically. The great thing about this is you can no longer snipe across the map by like tapping, firing, and peppering from a far distance. Now it's got a much longer charge up, and when it charges up and fires, it just belts out all the bullets. And it's really visceral, really clean feeling. It's amazing to shoot. For the Dreadnought abilities, we wanted to take a look at first, trying to give him some sort of combination that's very fun. So we gave him a new ability that we're calling for now, Teleport Shot. I fire a projectile, and if it hits an enemy, three seconds later, I will teleport to that enemy, which works great then. Just a Thunderdome, capture him, and it's done. He's not going anywhere. One of the Dreadnought's new abilities, this milestone, is called Gravity Field. And like Thunderdome, that's a spherical field, but unlike Thunderdome, it doesn't block players. Instead, what it does is it redirects bullets that pass through it. And when a Dreadnought places this in the middle of the fight, Players have to decide on which side of the sphere they want to engage because they're effectively unable to shoot each other through the sphere. One of the things about the Dreadnought speed is we've chosen to make him be the slowest class. One is because his HMG is incredibly powerful at short range. We want to make part of the skill of using that weapon to actually close the gap between him and the other classes. For me, actually, I like the rework of uh, turret mode, which actually gets rid of the uh, weapon degradation on the HMG. With that, we've also increased his fire arc from 45 degrees to 160. So he's actually, his cone of death is a lot wider and he's a lot more deadly while using that ability. Thank you very much for watching. We look forward to your feedback on the forums. Thanks.